Creatine supplementation. Long used as a supplement by bodybuilders to enhance strength and endurance, creatine may also benefit muscular dystrophy patients. Creatine is an energy precursor that is naturally produced by the body, Pasakine C et al. 2002. Transformed by the body into phosphocreatine. It enters muscle cells and promotes protein synthesis while reducing protein breakdown. In healthy individuals, creatine has been shown to enhance endurance and increase energy levels by preventing depletion of the body's primary energy storage compound, adenosine triphosphate, Persky AM et al. 2001. Among muscular dystrophy patients, studies have suggested that supplemental creatine can improve muscle performance and strength, decrease fatigue, and slightly improve bone mineral density. A small, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled crossover study in Belgium assessed the effects of creatine supplementation on 12 boys afflicted with Duchenne muscular dystrophy and 3 with Becker muscular dystrophy, Lewis M. et al. 2003. Participants received either 3 grams creatine or placebo daily for 3 months, followed by a 2-month washout period. They then received the opposite substance for another three months. After each phase of the study, doctors assessed the boys' strength, bone and joint health, and fatigue levels. When the boys were given placebo, they exhibited no change in maximum voluntary muscle contraction, a quantitative measure of strength. Likewise, resistance to fatigue remained unchanged, while joint stiffness worsened by 25%. But after taking creatine for three months, the boy's strength increased by 15%, and resistance to fatigue actually doubled. Joint stiffness remained unchanged. Furthermore, a biochemical marker of bone tissue degradation decreased by an impressive two-thirds. Among the five boys who were able to walk at the beginning of the study, Bone mineral density increased by 3% after the creatine supplementation phase of the study. Muscular dystrophy patients frequently suffer from osteoporosis, in which bone mineral density declines, rendering bones fragile. A somewhat larger study conducted in Ontario, Canada, assessed the effects of creatine supplementation, 100 mcg daily per kilogram of body weight, on 30 participants for four months. Again, researchers found that bone degradation decreased when participants were taking creatine, and strength measured by dominant hand grip strength increased. The same was not true during the placebo phase. Researchers noted that creatine was well tolerated, and fat-free mass increased, Tarnopolsky M.A. et al. 2004. Other studies on patients with myotonic dystrophy have been somewhat less encouraging, although creatine may still be of some benefit for them. In one German study, Scientists randomly assigned 34 myotonic patients to receive either 10.6 grams creatine daily or placebo. After eight weeks, creatine supplementation was well tolerated. Without relevant side effects, the researchers concluded. But, disappointingly, there was no statistically significant improvement in muscle strength or daily life activities, Walter M. C. et al. 2002. Another double-blind crossover study considered creatine's effects on a variety of muscular dystrophy types, including 12 facioscapulohumeral patients, 10 Becker and 8 Duchenne muscular dystrophy boys, and 6 limb girdle muscular dystrophy patients. After 8 weeks, patients who received creatine exhibited mild but significant improvement in muscle strength and daily life activities creatine was well tolerated throughout the study walter mc et al 2000 in another study austrian researchers administered creatine to one nine-year-old boy with duchenne muscular dystrophy for more than five months the patient subsequently demonstrated improved muscle performance 
Magnetic resonance imaging of calf muscle function supported this finding, Felber S. et al. 2000.